Ken. Was it, was it Ken? Mike? Ken, yeah. Ken, Ken. So, um, so we have had somebody here today who's come all the way from Australia. And that's where I have my story. Uh, so this is for Ken. Actually, it's for all of you. Because I wasn't always, um, I didn't always possess uh, a sense of pride or even love for the Breakers. And that was just simply because from where my family was, it was some something um, oddly not to be proud of. So, um, adopting... They were jealous. <laughs> well, they were artistes in their minds. So, so um, and Lloyd might be able to comment on that because he was more of an adult than I was at the time. I had to piecemeal this together later after I became an adult to try to backfill why it was that I went through all that. Nonetheless, when it was over, it, I was over it or thinking so. Though, very much, this was a family. Uh, and as I would come to realize, it was probably a better representation of a family than the one I had at home. Uh, so, I was trying to leave it behind. I had left the industry sort of my late 20s. I had continued to work on other projects. Didn't matter. No matter and no matter what I did, it would snap back to the Brady Bunch because it had, I call it a, a, a a heavier gravity than anything else I ever did. So it really didn't matter what else I did unless it reached a sort of an epic high that was higher than the Brady's, then it wasn't ever going to amount to what the Brady's did. That became frustrating to a degree. And in that frustration, you, you have a tendency to blame it on the success that it continues to enjoy. So I was going through that arc, now in business, had a trip to Australia, uh, never been halfway around the world. I hear that the water goes down backwards. <laughs> no evidence of that, though. Um, toward the outside of the show, as a matter of fact, my first thought was, great, no one will recognize me down there. And uh, I did know, we had some idea that the show at that point was also rerunning in Indonesia and Australia and other places. But uh, I thought, this would be great, I won't have to hide out. I didn't even get through customs when they were recognizing me. And then through customs, they were asking me if I was going to see the premiere. Premiere? Premiere of what? Now I'm there, we're selling a, a 3D piece of software, we have a distributor, we're staying in his house, our Australian distributor's house, and he's getting calls from news. I'm not sure how they had his number, or really how they knew where I was staying, other than through the customs. Customs had shared where I was staying with the news because they were so certain that I was there for this premiere. This premiere was of the real life Brady Bunch. Now, when I was asked to go to participate, not on stage, but just to be in the audience for the real life Brady Bunch when it came through LA, I said, no, thank you. I didn't want to be, because in my mind, I was no longer a Brady, I was moving on. And though everyone had a right to enjoy it, that wasn't a place for me to be. And I avoided it. And then I'm now in Australia. I'm not even there three hours, and the news is, is calling me to ask me if I'm going to the show. Um, and it was two days later. And I have to admit that that was, that was a unique happenstance, and that perhaps I had to take a deep breath and say yes, because I'm now halfway around the world, someplace different, though very much like home, and still, when the first time you travel that far from home, you, you recognize how small and insignificant you are. And here I'm in this place that I've never been, and I've already, and I preceded me there. <laughs> that was an interesting concept at that moment. So I said yes to going to the show. I don't know who here has seen uh, uh, one of the performances of the real life Brady's, but you know as well as I do what this is. This is just a. Uh, uh, the, what, the mounting of the episodes on stage. They had a couch in front, they put me front and center, and here's this Australian cast, who later I find out was as nervous as hell, because I was there, and they're doing the roles. And it, it was an epiphany. It was at that moment that I realized this isn't something that I'm ever going to be able to outdistance, that it would be exhausting. Exhausting for me to try to not be a Brady anymore, or not to recognize that at the very least, all that is trying to be 
given to me is love and acceptance. But it took that to bring it around. So that, that's my Brady moment. Starting our show, uh, there was one budget, and then as it grew, there was another one. And we finally got out of the 